this video, I'm going to demonstrate calculating and interpreting the debt ratio. We're asked to calculate the debt ratio for these three companies, DreamWorks, Pixar, and Universal. We're given dollar amounts for expenses, total assets, net income, and total liabilities. So a combination of information from our income statement, expenses and net income, and our balance sheet, total assets, and total liabilities. Let's first review what is the formula for the debt ratio. It's total debt, which is also synonymous with total liabilities divided by total assets. So we do need total liabilities and we do do total assets, but for our calculation of the debt ratio, expenses and net income are relevant. Needed for some other ratios, just not this ratio. So let's jump into calculating DreamWorks debt ratio, and we're gonna round it to do decimal places like indicated. Total liabilities is going to be 45,600 divided by total assets, which is 60,000. So again, rounded to two decimal places, our debt ratio is 0.76. Uh, we could also know that if we converted it to a percentage, which they don't ask us to do for this problem, it'd be 76%. So what does that mean? It means 76% of its assets are financed by debt. So if you're trying to scratch your head about that, remember the accounting equation from chapter one. It said assets equal liabilities plus equity. What that was trying to also say, not just balancing things out, assets are gonna be financed by one of two things, either debt or liabilities, so our creditor's interest in our assets, or our owner's interest in our assets, our equity. So like an investment from their owner or retained earnings, continued earnings from the business. So again, debt ratio is trying to say what proportion of those assets are financed by our creditors or debt or our liabilities. DreamWorks, it'd be 76%. So then if we were just curious, not that we have to know what portion of the assets are financed by owners or equity, we take 100% minus the debt ratio of 76%, and that would be 24%. Not needed for this, but just wanted to explain that also. Pixar, the debt ratio is 147,800 in liabilities divided by 154,000 in assets. So almost one or 100%, 0.96 or 96%. We also want to look at Universal, last and not least, 21,000 in liabilities divided by 76,000 assets. So much lower than the other ones of 0.28 or 28%. The last part of the problem also beyond just number crunching says, I want you to interpret this. What does that mean? The question asks us, which company has the most risk for financial leverage? Financial leverage is a measure of how much debt how much of your assets are being financed by debt. Debt is more risky than equity because debt we have to pay back. If an owner invests and buys stock in your company, you don't necessarily have to pay them dividends. You don't have to buy them out any time. But if you as a company or even as a person borrow money, you have to pay it back. You can be forced into bankruptcy if you don't keep up with those interest payments and our principal payments and you aren't paying that back. So debt is definitely more risky. So if I'm looking for the one with the most risk for financial leverage, I'm looking for the biggest composition of those assets financed by debt or liabilities. So I'm looking for the highest debt ratio, which in this particular example would be Pixar. It means doesn't say they're absolutely going to go out of business, but they're financing all of almost all of their assets by debt, which is a very risky situation if they don't have the available cash flow to pay back that principal and or interest payments.